So I love my Threadripper PC inside the Fractal Design Mesh of IC, but lately I've been more appreciative of the mini ITX systems as seen with my LAN PC in the Nwin Chopin. It opens up a lot of deck space without compromising performance. Now for my new project, I'm going to see if I can fit the Threadripper 1950X inside a case less than 10 liters. Now the largest Threadripper motherboard is only micro ATX form factor, so the best way to adjust for this is to have an open concept case. After scanning over a few of the non-mainstream cases, the Salvo Studios S401 case seemed to work perfect. Now because of the X399M Tai Chi motherboard, an SFX power supply would no longer fix. Luckily, there is a Nano PSU from HDPlex, which includes all the needed connectors I need. Well, except for the 4 plus 4 EPS connector. This needs to be repinned to fit the 4 and the 8 pin connection required by the motherboard. The Nano PSU is typically rated for 400 watts, but can hold a peak wattage over 500 watts as shown in their testing video on their website. Now to take on the largest problem with Threadripper processors, cooling. Since there are no low profile air coolers for Threadripper, I had to get creative. Luckily, the S401 natively supports 60mm fans everywhere, and I had an idea to take AlphaCool's triple 60mm radiator and stick it in the front of the case. While this may not be ideal, it is going to be our only option. With a small DCLT pump and a high performance CPU block, hopefully it will keep the processor from thermal throttling. To get the best result, I used Thermal Grizzly Canucta Dot Thermal Paste and a full IHS cover water block. Gamers Nexus has a wonderful article discussing the die coverage debate for Threadripper and the XSPC copper block performed significantly better than most in their testing. As for the rest of the system, we threw in 64GB of G-Skill RAM. Lastly, with the PSU and the radiator covering the front, the GPU is limited to less than 180mm in length, so the Gigabyte RTX mini cards work perfect. I chose the RTX 2060 ITX from Gigabyte, but the RTX 2070 from Gigabyte and ASUS will work as well. So there it is, the smallest Threadripper build to date at 7.9 liters calculated from the S401's external measurement. I wouldn't hold back to say this is the world's smallest Threadripper build. The system holds strong with the Nano PSU and is able to perform extremely well, getting a 6713 score in Cinebench R20 with only max temperatures of 60C during the run. After several hours of ID64, the system tops out at 74C at stock. So, if you like this video, please leave a like and comment your thoughts. If you want to see more builds like this because I have unlimited ideas, consider subscribing. Thank you to Salvo Studios for letting me use their case as it is absolutely my favorite build to date. Thanks a lot, and this is definitely tech. And there it is, there's our post screen, that's amazing.